This was our Odroid H3 Plus cluster at the end of the last video. We've mounted our drive cages in the end section of our rack. I've already fitted the top air filter section and we're going to put the next one in now. This is polypropylene, which is quite bendable and will fit in quite nicely to the bottom here. Like so. So what we're going to be fitting today is the hard drives. As you will see on the Odroid, we have two SATA data connectors and two SATA power connectors. And these need to connect to the back of the IC dock frames. You can purchase appropriate connectors from Odroid. The data connectors and the power connectors. The only problem with the power connectors that we have configured the rack is they're a very short cable. This will not fit between the power on the Odroid and the back of the IC dock. So as the supply cable is indeed too short for the mounting in a rack, we're going to add on an extender cable to extend the SATA power. This should allow our cable to actually reach between the Odroid and the SATA hard disk. So we'll connect in the power first. And we'll mount that to the bottom one. And we'll do our second power connection with another cable. And this will fit to our top unit. Then all we need to do now is to add in our SATA data cables. Now this is the data cable that came with the set, so I will plug this one in first. So it's like a longer cable than I would like, but it will do nicely. And I've managed to locate a slightly shorter SATA cable, which we'll use to connect our top drive. And that is our hard disks all connected up to the Odroids. Now we just have to do a little bit of cable tidying at the back here. Oh, that should hold our cable in place. Right, now all we need to do is to power up and to ensure that our two 5TB SATA drives can connect to our Odroid. Let's put it back into the rack. Now we have the Odroids back in the Mac. Let's switch them on and see if we can talk to the hard disks. It's an encouraging sign that we have the blue lights on both of our hard disks. So the computer should now be booting up into Windows. Now we're connected to Odroid number 7. And we need to initialise both of these disks and we'll create a new simple volume for each of them. And there we have two new volumes, a D and an E drive, each of them giving us five terabytes of disk space. So now that we've connected to both of these drives and proved the SATA ports work quite successfully, we can now do some performance testing. And that's it running. We'll speed forward now to the end of the process. And there we have our final figures. A write speed of 134 megabytes a second and a write speed of 119. 
So for comparison, we'll run this also on the SSD, which is in the M2 slot. And as expected, the 1TB SSD in the M2 slot on the underside of the Odroid board is considerably faster. So this completes the installation and configuration of the two new 5TB hard disks to our Odroid computer. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.